Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and I'm doing the same thing you're doing at home right now. I'm looking at prices and they things feel like they're, there's an imminent blast off. We've got Brad Garlinghouse tonight on 60 Minutes. And um, as a by the way, I'm not like thinking that him being on 60 Minutes is somehow going to skyrocket the XRP price or anything like that. I'm not expecting any big news or anything like that. I'm just... Just the fact that he's doing it means that there's going to be a whole new group of people over the mid and long term that are now aware of what Ripple's doing and what and about XRP. He may not even mention XRP on there, and that's fine too. It's the awareness of crypto and the fight that's been going on, and it's just the awakening of uh, and the just the positivity that's coming in is all going to help in the medium and long term, maybe in, even in the short run. Uh, now don't look, all, the people that are that are looking at XRPLasVegas.com are excited and they're excited and they're buying tickets and the, the, there's records being like just shattered by four and five times right now. I believe, I believe that, that the ticket sales on XRP Las Vegas, I'll make a prediction. I believe it's going to be into the thousands before January 1st, 2025. That's how fast the tickets are selling. And there's only, there's limited space at this thing. And just so anybody who hadn't heard me say it, this year, Bitcoin Las Vegas is for three days. And then, the, then after those three days, you go right into XRP Las Vegas. And that is one of the things that makes it cool. All right, um, so go check it out. It's xrplasvegas.com. You can get tickets. You can also, there's after party tickets. There's also, um, you can get discounted MGM Grand tickets. That's where it's going to be. Um, so anyway, it's great, great time. And you can, uh, anyway, and the link's in the description of this video too, but it's xrplasvegas.com. Check it out. Um, XRP's been moving on up slowly. Bitcoin's right at a hundred thousand. Um, the the market is at three point six six trillion. But you can feel it when you see all these chart guys talk today. You're you're gonna feel what I feel. You can feel the imminent blast off of all this, folks. This is a guy named the Modern. He goes by the Modern Investor or used to. I don't know if he still does. But this is a great clip of him explaining how huge the opportunity in XRP is. The idea basically is, is that when they launch these coins, these coins are going to have a lot of money, a lot of activity, billions of dollars flowing through them. The more activity that there is on the XRP blockchain, the more XRP gets burned. The more XRP gets burned, the higher the price goes. The higher the price goes, the more people jump into the coin. And it's like a really weird self-fulfilling prophecy. The company Ripple is also creating their own stable coin. This is going to propel and move billions of extra dollars into the ecosystem as well as we've seen before with Tether and Circle US dollar, you, you name it. These coins do trillions of dollars, trillions of dollars worth of money and transactions through their chain at any given month. If Ripple can capture 5% of that, 10% of that money, that's also going to be on top of the XRP blockchain. It's going to cause a whole bunch of new money to move into it. It's also going to allow for future DeFi decentralized projects on top of the XRP blockchain that are using the stablecoin and or using XRP. And when you have all this usage of XRP, XRP keeps getting burned. We also know that in 2025, the company Ripple is planning on going public. It has been rumored that someone within Ripple is apparently in discussions with, has spoken with, is skipping down the street with someone from the White House, the future administration, and therefore the rumors have also been quite heavy that Ripple might have an active role in this like crypto, uh, what's it called, uh, regulatory body kind of thing that's being formed by the White House sometime in the future. 
Well, I've got a rumor of, it's actually, it's not a rumor. In DAIXRP.com today, I'm going to tell you something that a little birdie told me about Ripple going public. We won't be using any names, though. Now, I want to, I want to show you this. Um, this guy right here, his name is uh, Chris Dangerfield. I think I said that right. Um, and he has, a, he has a website you need to be aware of. It's called XRPLfirewall.com. Now, I want you to listen to this clip. Myself and Brad Combs, we did a Zoom call with him uh, about a week ago. All right, we're back. And um, this is what we talked about. With the one and only, it's Chris Dangerfield, which, by the way, you can find at XRPL365 on Twitter. And Chris and his buddy, Dennis, have been working on something that I think is so amazing. And for anybody out here who has ever experienced a hack, or an attack on their assets. And if you haven't, listen closely. Chris, tell them what you're working on for everybody out here in the XRP land. Okay, uh, well, do me a favor then, right? Just imagine waking up one morning and all your XRP is gone. It's been drained from your wallet and you don't know why. And it doesn't even matter how. There's loads of ways that it could potentially happen with various scams. Let's just park the how and say you wake up and it's gone. Self-custody, your responsibility, no one you can go and complain to and get your money back, right? So Dennis and I basically are building a protocol level solution to that problem, okay, that is different to multi-sig which would be sort of like the enterprise level way in which you would add that extra layer of security this is more aimed at retail users to be able to make it real simple for them to add onto their account and it protects them you enable firewall on your account and what will happen is anyone could get your private key and they still would not be able to take your xrp that's as simple as i can put it i tell you right now that is amazing and i just want to say to everybody right now Go to xrplfirewall.com and sign up and put your email on that list so you can be in line to find out more about this protection and how you can get this protection. So God forbid if you're ever attacked or anybody tries to get into your assets, you can be safe too. And if you have been hacked in the future, in the past, like I have, trust me. I'm already on this list, I can tell you right now. I don't need any convincing. Chris, I just wanna to say to you and Dennis, the work you're doing is amazing. Your contribution to this community cannot be overstated. I appreciate you and I hope you will come back on the show and talk to us when we have more information. Thanks for having me, Brad. Okay, so, so what they have, you're, you're not signing up for any product, you're just joining a uh, wait list if you, if you click on this thing. And they'll let you, they're going to make you aware of the progress on the creation of this product and and when it's going to launch. I'm not on their payroll or anything. I'm just showing you because everybody, anything we can, anything extra we can do to protect ourselves, we're into. Um, so <laughs> look at this, Justin XRP flip Citigroup in market cap, and David Schwartz replies to it says, "Wake up, city." <laughs> Um, check this out. John Deaton retweeted that we're conspiracy theorists no longer now that uh, Case, this uh, organization, is going to run the, they're going to run the, the ad about uh, demanding that Gary Gensler releases the OIG report that's been done on Bill Hinman. Um, man, we were consp conspiracy theorists for about two or three years until we weren't. Look at Stuart Alvarati, Life of a Crypto Lawyer, December 2020, text received, hope you're okay. December 2024, text received, quick call, how do I get into crypto? <laughs> I, I know the feeling. Look at this. All right, we're going to show a lot of chart stuff here and in DAIXRP.com, okay? There's a lot. All these chart guys can smell it. When XRP last had a range-based correction, the 0.5 to uh, 0.6 acted key resistance. Once we broke this level, we hit a full 423 extension in three days and one hour. Uh, we're currently fighting these levels again. A repeat would put, uh, put us at $5.26 on December 11th if we break today. And then here's Wall Street bets. Hear me out. Got a sophisticated trade for free money. I've named this maneuver Long XRP. 
instructions for the trade are in the title. <laughs> and then Credible, I think I played this video the other day for you. He says, if you haven't seen it yet and you hold XRP, you need to give my recent interview with Crypto Insight UK a watch. I cover XRP extensively, expl explain why I think double digit XRP is coming sooner than most think. Small clip there. Um, now, uh, tonight, um, there's, the, of course, the Brad Garlinghouse in interview. Imagine we see cra a crazy announcement. I, I've, I've said we've not seen any huge days yet for XRP, no 50% days yet, and I think we will see some. Not trying to gas anyone, but again, just speaking. And he, he had tweeted this out. Um, some thoughts. Brad Garlinghouse on 60 Minutes today. This will put XRP in front of millions of boomers. Some speculate it'll, it will be bearish, similar to Musk. When Musk went on uh, Saturday Night Live, there was so much anticipation. And then he mentioned Doge and the price went down instead of up. I don't have any anticipation of the XRP price going up. I just think for the mid and long term, this is going to, I don't think I know it's going to be a big deal for Ripple and for XRP. To me, it, re it smells of, of something you would do before you announce that you're heading for an I IPO. I personally don't believe so. I think a bull, I think in a bull market, especially early bull, which is where I feel we are, these things are often bullish. People also say 60 minutes chop interviews up and spin them in a bad way. I'm thinking it, is it'll end a, a, it'll be the end of 60 minutes if they aren't bullish with the new cr pro crypto administration coming in. Anyway, could be hope for me, but wanted to share my thoughts. So yeah, I mean, it's going to be good, even if it's a short term good um, or long. Let me see here. I'm reading somebody's text right now. Okay. And then we have, now this is, does anybody remember Peter Brandy hates Ripple and XRP? So, uh, this is back uh, in May, on May 12th, 2024, from a pure classic chart pointing view, that is Shaw backer Edwards McGee. This chart looks like it's headed toward zero. It's an XRP Bitcoin. Um, and this guy's calling him out because this is what he tweets yesterday. What's today's date? Oh, come on. What's today's date? I'm, I'm trying to get it on my phone. Okay, we're at eight. So yesterday, same guy tweets this. This, the most powerful crypto chart in all of the crypto world. And it's XRP USD. Now, um, I'm not going to play this video, but I, I encourage you to. This is a video where, the, I mean, Michael Saylor's, it's one thing to believe in Bitcoin, but he is out there borrowing money to buy Bitcoin with the concept being that he thinks Bitcoin's going to go up forever. <sighs> Folks, don't borrow money to buy crypto. I don't care what it is. This is not, that is not smart. Don't get into leverage stuff. It's stupid. And even if, even if Michael Saylor's right and Bitcoin is, is going to go up a lot over the long term, this is one of those strategies that can murder you in the short and medium run. I mean, you, you have a massive 90% pullback and all of a sudden the guy could be in a terrible situation. We've had 90% pullbacks after bull runs on Bitcoin. Okay. Not smart by any stretch. I don't care what it, I don't care how positive things are. Don't do it. Don't borrow money to don't, don't spend more money than you can afford to lose. And I'm not a financial advisor. Now, you know, link to is my sponsor. You know that at times they have ripple equity. I don't think they have it right now, but I think that they could have it at any minute. The story I'm about to tell in DAIXRP.com, I'm not going to name any names, but, it, but this was told to me and I, it's not, I don't have inside sources. I just have friends all over the place. It's about the ripple IPO. Um, they don't have it on the platform right now, but this is the place to get it. If you, if you are, I mean, if you go, my point is you need to go, they have an accreditation proce uh, process that's, that's pretty fast. If you haven't already gotten it, cause they could pop up with some ripple equity next week. We don't know, but go, you need to go ahead and go through the process and then you, you got to fund your account. So go ahead and do it. You can go to linqto.com. And then you can download the app, the link to app as well. Um, 
Okay, in DAIXRP, I'm going to tell you the story I heard about a Ripple IPO. And this is like, this is this would be, I'm not going to say any more out here. Anyway, trust me on that. And we're going to talk more about what these chart guys are saying about XRP price. And then I'm also going to show you a tool I like to use when I'm analyzing um, digital assets that I want to invest in. Um, I'm a digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. Away we go.